Welcome back, welcome back to another tutorial. Alright, that should be my intro for every tutorial, but uh, I don't know. Probably not. What am I talking about? Alright, welcome back, and in this video, what I'm going to show you guys is the bare basics of how to work with GitHub using Android Studio. And of course, this is not a GitHub tutorial series. I'm going to assume that you guys already know what GitHub is and a little bit about version control. And uh, yeah, if you don't, then I actually have a tutorial series on it. Pretty much allows you to uh, build software with like a team of people or work on cool open source software together. So the first thing you need, of course, is a GitHub account. So go to github.com and create an account. And then once you have that, hop back in here and we already start learning how to use it in Android Studio. So the first thing I probably should mention is this. I made a brand new project. This is just, you know, as I have always done, it just has the default text label. I actually want to change this. So my project I named Clam Blaster because I don't know, that was the first name that popped in my head, oddly enough. So I'm just gonna take some label, and you don't even need to do this. I just don't like that default text label. I don't know, I have a little grudge against it. And I'll say bust some clams. Alright, so now we have, you know, now it's ours. You know, now it has that more personal feel to it. So say that we created this awesome app, like I have right now. And I'm like, you know what, I need the world to see this app. I'm going to make this project public so anyone can download it, help build it, work on it together. So the first thing we need to do before we actually take this and put it on GitHub is we need to prepare it for version control so if you go up here to VCS this stands for version control you can select enable version control integration so what we want to do is since we're working with git and not subversion or anything we're gonna choose git and select ok so what this does is it pretty much takes this project and it creates a git repository now with this git repository we can go ahead and take that and put it on github now another thing I want to point out is this let me expand some of these files. You see that after you do that, your file names, they turn red. And this just indicates that, okay, you didn't actually push anything to GitHub yet. So you just created a local repository on your own computer. Now, if you look at GitHub and I refresh this, I see that I don't have any repositories, nothing changed on the website. So now we have to figure out how do we take this and actually share it on the website so the world can see it. Well, if you go up to VCS again, and you go to import into version control, you can select the option share project on GitHub. So the very first time that you do this, it's going to ask you to log into your GitHub account, your GitHub username and password. However, after that, what you can do is you can just set up a password. And this is just a, ma um, a master password for quicker logins. So I'm going to type mine in right there and hit OK and it says okay you don't have the setup on github already so I'm gonna assume that you want to create a brand new repository which we do so this is our project and for the description I'll just write like best Android app ever since that is a pretty accurate description now I'm gonna hit share and after I do that it's gonna give me this little pop-up right here so this is pretty much saying that do you want to share all of the project files? Well, yes, we do. We want to take these, this entire project that we're working on, and we want to pretty much push it to GitHub to make it a public repository. Now, the default commit message is just initial commit, since this is our very first commit, and hit OK, and it says successfully share project on GitHub. So now, if we look on GitHub and refresh, all of those files this entire project is now available for the world to see pretty sweet alright so that's it that's how you take a project in Android Studio and add it to github so now you're like oh, you know what I actually need to make some changes to this what I want to do is this instead of bust some clams I'm gonna change this to bust some hams and all right that is much better since uh, I don't know maybe we're changing this project to ham blaster 
whatever. So after we make some changes, look at this. The file name, they turn blue. And whenever it turns blue, it indicates that this local project is different than the main GitHub repository. It pretty much indicates that something is different. So what we need to do now is we need to figure out how to take these changes and push them to our GitHub repo. And that is actually really simple. The only thing that we have to do is this. Now you can go to VCS and choose commit changes or if you notice whenever you create a repository it gives you these nice little shortcut icons so this button right here is the commit button so if we hit that and if I resize this up at the top it says okay these are the files on your local machine that are different than your github repository and since we only changed one file that's why we have that now the commit message would just say um would just say like changed the label text to ham. All right, looks pretty good. Now what we can do is we can just hit commit and it'll commit it. But if we just want to commit and push all at once, then we can do that as well. So now it says, da, 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 let me do my thing. And this is just a little verification. Are you sure you want to do that, Bucky? Yep. Just take this and push it. And what it does is it takes all those changes and pushes it to your GitHub account. So now if you refresh this, you now have the updated project. And you can navigate and verify that if you want. But we trust it. So that is pretty much that how you add a project to github and also after you make some changes how you can through android studio pretty much push those changes to your public repository on github